Hey folks, it's Bobo the Vulture. And I'm Red. And this is Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, or let's watch Red play Kingdom Hearts. Woohoo! See, if you're still with us. <laughs> like watching a Let's Play video for me, except the things that I'm yelling at the screen, as I know that you are all yelling at the screen right now. No! Why didn't you fight more to gain experience in the island or whatever? This is the Atom Workshop, Koopo. We're researching to item synthesis and super weapon forging. I really do think that Koopo means uh, unrepeatable uh, <laughs> slur. Like... You can find whatever items you need at the nephews' shop. What if the items I need aren't nephews? <laughs> Alright, let's go through this big door. That's okay, they also sell candy bars and sodas as impulse buy items in the checkout line. Yay. Yeah. Oh, he fell, and... His heart went away. And it went. And there it went. And it turned into a heartless. What are you talking about? He has a heart. Yeah, I never understood the concept of the naming here. He's just from the island. From the island, who apparently we now have a name for. I'm sorry. I broke it. Spoiler! They're called heartless. Hey, they can't spell. I say that, folks, in case you hadn't noticed, but in the corner, apparently, you're picking up some variety of money. Yep, money is spelled M U N N Y. Not right. Not right. Well, not right for proper English. All kinds of wrong. Boots, shoe. Oh, boots and shoes. I thought it was boots shack. Funky little shack. You should try. Yeah. There we go. Open. Postcard. Okay. Postcard. From the edge. Right, we're not carry fish. Are we getting postcards from you two's lead guitarist? Mm, no. Okay. Let's see. Where else can we go? Let's go this way. Take it, not all of these doors are ones you can enter. Okay, hotel. The hotel. Doesn't look like he's here. Keep looking. Surely Mickey will be in this town. Okay, so. Well, they're also looking for Leon. Exam. Midsummer Dawn. Okay. Apparently closed off. Currently closed off. Examine. The autumn dusk. Paintings are great. I'm glad you agree. Guides. Examine. Guides are great. Holding in multi control art exhibit. We hope you enjoy the exhibit, manager. Paintings are great. If you ever stay the night, try hitting the clock. All right then. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up, uh, buddy. Guy who is not going to help us because the place is. <laughs> yes. Yay! Nice and shard. Oh, that's good. I hate it when the shards aren't very clear. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh -huh, pun. Hey, this is where you go to buy those monsters that turn into gremlins. Hmm. Where is he? Gizmo shop. Leon! It's just short enough that I get that. There's a little handle there. Can you make it go? No. The gizmo shop has to be turned on. And well, show it naughty pictures. Oh. Good night, everybody. We're not leaving yet. This video just got started. That's fair. There's but notice how many shards. times they seem to drop stuff. It's a lot fewer and far farther between than when. You mean less few and far Something. Because you yes, correct me. Your items. Yes, I like my positions. Like neat things. Yep, I do. You find lucid shards to be neat. Yeah, they'll become very handy later on. So if you're playing this game and you think, oh, well, I need money, 
I'll sell my lucid shards. It's not worth it. Because in the end, you'll have to go and find more of them. And you can't purchase luc lucid shards. I see. So eventually in this game, you're going to need a lot of these things that you're getting now. Yep. There. Oh, look, a whole bunch of new people. They're pretty people. much just going to keep coming, huh? Well, this is one of the places where there's a lot of them. So, I'm just going to keep going. Let's see here. Uh, hey. hey. Examine. Well, kind of wobbly. Guess I can't climb it now. Alright. You could. You would just break something. Probably. Okay, not that door. Oh, this one. What is this? Not here either. This could take a while. Yep, yep. Can it fall some more? No. It's possible. This was falling the game. 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of their world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. Well, there's a whole bunch. Yeah, 99's a lot. 99 puppies and... <laughs> well... Let's just say they're old boys. <laughs> Do you see what I did there, folks? I didn't. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> see how many people are especially fond of whoever word humor and Jay Z. There. So. Alright. So this is the alleyway. There's a sign. Oh shit. It seems too soon. Then it has arms. Why does the sign have arms? Does the sign want to huggle you? Hmm. Go through another door so we can see Goofy and... Oh, well, in just a second. It's like I figured out this secret method of how this game is... No, actually, you can't. Sure, you can. You are trying hard enough. I believe you, but yeah. Come on! Yeah, you tell that box. Come on, box! Now, notice there's a, there's a treasure chest over there. I can't get to it yet. Well, because you gotta pick up that barrel, too. Uh, actually, if you throw a box onto another box or a barrel, all that serves to do is break both of them. box up there that I want. There we go. Open. And now you have it. Pretty stone! I have yet to figure out what the pretty stone's purpose is. Other than to sell it for a minuscule amount of money. Well geez, maybe uh, it's worth a... Uh, maybe you have some part of the game later where you need lots of them, like a lucid chart. Nope. Not a possibility. Just something to take up your inventory. Alright folks, flood the comments section with reasons that you should keep pretty stones. Ah, <laughs> that sounds wrong. 
Mm, why should you keep pretty stones? Because they're pretty! Yes, well, that could be a reason. Mm -hmm. so wait, wasn't that closed off a minute ago? Or was just this uh, was different door? You're looking at a different door. This was back from the alleyway into this main area. Down on Main Street. Come on. Where? We're going. Hey, go on. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. So, what is the, uh... I guess at this point, your, your quest is that you're looking around for Kairi and Riku. Yep, I'm trying to find my friends. You don't really care about any of the other ones, even though, considering the whole world was destroyed... Mm-hmm. I don't know, know that. R what? I don't know. Sora doesn't know that. Um, he was there when it was all getting sucked into, like, a Yeah, but he wasn't exactly paying attention to that fact. It may have just been that one little island, which clearly was not a part of where his house was. Show me your stuff. <laughs> By which I mean, show me the destruction of all I know. <laughs> I can just imagine the, uh, whatever her name was, the jump rope kid. Mm-hmm, Yuffie. Uh, not Yuffie, uh, I don't know. She was not one of my characters that I preferred to have around. I left her at home in Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, right. She's one of the Final Fantasy VIII ones. Oh, she's, she's the one that sang the train song. Isn't she? Uh. Something. I never played Final Fantasy VIII either, folks. There's a whole lot of these ones that I never ended up playing. I never got the whole way through Final Fantasy VII, if you can believe it. Or I can believe it. That's a good I never game. even got to the like big twist. Not the big twist, but the big shocker. Hmm. Not shocker, folks. No, the shocking moment thing. Whatever it was, that dealy. Wow. Those red and black three banners have a vaguely sort of like fascist empire like appearance to them there. Hmm. Look, another little blue thingy. V for vendetta, dear. What is that over there? That right there? Yeah. He's sticking out of the pipe with a giant. Like electric electricity thingy. thingy. Yep. We gonna rock down to oh. the lone guy that I missed. He is dramatic music. He is dramatic music. Examine. Looks like it's locked. Looks like eh, currently closed off. Alrighty then. A vacant house, so I'm gonna go inside. Clearly, there are people in this vacant house. Oh, wait. Nope. Alright, we can leave. The top of the home. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there? Nothing in there. Let me go back through these doors. These rather large doors. I'm gonna walk you down the hall. You were hoping that there would be a tinier door inside the main door? No. And you can pretend you are Donald Duck? No! Under no circumstances would I ever bother to pretend to be Donald Duck. Not a big fan of Donald Duck? Nope. I'm with you there, but uh, it is shocking as a Disney aficionado to hear you say. Hey, you know, I'm sure there are people who are extreme Harry Potter fans who have specific characters they absolutely hate. What, like, uh... uh oh, I can't think of anything. The whole series is so delightful. <laughs> um, but yes. That's all them. Not a Harry Potter fan. Sorry, guys. 
judge, less, less to be judged. Whatever. Right. No, that would be judged as well. Unless judge. you want people to judge you. Eh. And then they're going to they not get judged or something. They're going to judge me anyway. Let's face it, everybody judges everybody on the internet because they feel that they can. Let's face it, everybody must get stoned. <laughs> Alright. Well, here we go, folks. We've done some exploring around Traverse Town. Yep. Now we're back into the accessory shop with Sid. And when we come back next time, folks, we'll continue, I guess, meandering around the, uh, whatever this thingy is. Eventually, we got to find something, right? Yep. Now we just have to... Look, look, there's a green well, this thingy. Is, uh, this is Bobo the Vulture. And I'm red. And I thank you very much for watching. Yep, see you next time.